Good everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I am your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another awesome vlog. And today I'm talking about this. The number one reason, well actually that's two, the number one reason why you will most likely lose money on your first few real estate deals. Let's get it started. Well guys, look, the answer is pretty simple. The reason why you will probably lose money on your first few real estate deals is because you suck, okay? Um, now, <laughs> jokes aside guys, but look, with any new venture that you start, you're probably not going to be too good at it, okay? Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, all good things take time. And, and I don't want you guys to become a, a jack of all trades and a master of none. Truly focus in on what it is that you wanna do. Select a specific niche within the real estate industry, there are many, and just focus on that because you will then give yourself the best possible chance to stop sucking as quickly as possible and actually start being good um, at whatever it is that you're doing. Now, look, uh, I guess my kind of um, video today is, is more catered to someone that is looking to buy, fix, and flip, but I believe you'll be able to take some valuable information from, from what I'm sharing with you um, and implement it in any specific niche that you're looking at um, doing in real estate. Um, but look, I believe that the number one reason why a lot of investors lose money on the first few real estate deals, including myself when I first started, is because you get the numbers wrong. Um, and what I mean by that is you get the numbers wrong when it comes to acquiring the property. You're not necessarily buying it cheap enough, giving yourself enough of a margin of safety to make a profit on that particular transaction. You have wrongly calculated the closing costs just because you list the property, guys, for $100,000, hypothetically speaking, um, it doesn't mean you're going to sell it for $100,000. What if the only offer or the best offer is $90,000? What about the various closing costs, the realtor commissions, the back taxes that you also maybe missed um, when you were acquiring the property? Um, uh, you know, uh, another thing could be any buyer concessions. Um, you know, there are a lot of fees that are associated with the closing costs. Let's talk about the rehab. Um, how about uh, miscalculating the actual rehab cost? Um, a potential contractor screwing you over. That is something that happens very, very, um, very often. Um, happens to me to this day after 500 deals. I don't even know, I stopped counting at 500. I've done more than that, but I still get screwed by contractors to this day. So, you know, I've, I've said it before, guys, and real estate truly is a numbers game. Um, uh, you have to focus on the numbers from a commitment standpoint, you know, and, and it starts off with how many hours um, are you spending in the office working on your real estate endeavors? How many times do you pick up the phone to talk to a prospect seller? How many offers do you submit? Um, you know, how many conferences do you attend to meet like-minded individuals? How many emails do you send? Um, you know, how many properties do you tour? How many deals do you flip? I mean, real estate truly is a numbers game. And I believe that a lot of beginner investors um, lose money on their first few real estate transactions because they get the numbers wrong. More so on the transaction side of things rather than the actual commitment side of things. Um, but look, uh, I'm not the smartest guy out there, guys. I quit school at a very young age and nothing beats hard work. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm living proof of that. So as long as you're willing to work hard and, and commit to those numbers, you will recover from those initial two, three, or four, or five. Took me five deals before I actually figured my shit out and made some money on a, on a flip. Um, you know, as long as you work hard, guys, you will recover and you will do some amazing things longer term. Um, I'll leave you with one little final piece of information, um, and that is you make money when you buy okay, and not when you sell, and always underestimate your income and overestimate your expenses. You can't go wrong including additional miscellaneous expenses when you are looking to rehab a property, when you're looking for a um, sale price of a property, um, uh, uh, whatever it is, I don't care, make up some shit, like literally make up some stuff just to include it as an expense so you don't uh, uh, you don't think that you're gonna get that extra income coming in. Always paint 
uh, the, the a horror story or, a, or the worst possible scenario that you can. And once you do that, if the numbers make sense then, once you've calculated that um, worst case scenario, then the investment might be worth, worth pursuing further, okay? Um, so guys, that's pretty much it. All of you beginners out there, um, that have bought a few properties and lost money, I'd love to hear from you. Post below, how did you, how did you do? What mistakes did you make? Um, where did you go wrong? Everyone that's done well um, and made money on their first few flips, what did you guys do well? I'd love to hear from all of you. So, hey, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Angela Rumora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. Catch you in the next vlog.